you know, I, I'll leave some of the, the broader policy and political uh, discussion to others. Uh, I practice with the court routinely. My office does. We have a good relationship with the court, and um, you know, we try to uh, keep our engagement on that very professional level. Uh, obviously, in this case, uh, I thought from the beginning and said from the beginning that we thought our court got it wrong, that we thought that their constitutional conclusion was simply mistaken, and we were encouraged this past week when eight members of the U.S. Supreme Court agreed. The U.S. Supreme Court's decision was very good news. Uh, it was a resounding decision on the constitutional issues that had been presented by the Kansas Supreme Court's decision, and it should put those issues to bed. So I'm very hopeful this will mean that the, uh, the cases can now move on through the uh, litigation process. But of course, that's a call that will ultimately have to be made by the Kansas Supreme Court and other courts that become involved as things move along. Um, We've had one person out of the ten under a sentence of death who have made it all the way through the direct appeals process. That's John Robinson out of the Kansas City area. Uh, I'm hopeful we're in a position now where uh, some of these other cases can move to the conclusion of direct appeals and we can get to the next appellate stage, uh, which uh, is the collateral attacks that uh, will inevitably come. Uh, but the process is moving again. It's not fast, uh, but it is moving and that uh, ought to give folks some comfort.